when it comes to freshwater fish, um, it's one of the most endangered taxonomic groups um, in the world. Uh, and freshwater fish are endangered primarily due to a number of causes. There's four main ones, um, damming of rivers, groundwater abstraction for agriculture and domestic use, the introduction of alien species is a big one, and of course pollution, um, dumping waste into our waterways. There's over 5,000 species have been assessed by the IUCN. Um, and of them, nearly half of them have some sort of threat status placed against them, um, which makes them a very endangered group. There's a large number that are actually in the highest category, so those are species that are endangered, critically endangered or extinct in the wild. Um, in fact, there are eight species of fish that are classified as extinct in the wild, and at ZSL we hold five of them. But there's probably, in actual fact, a lo much larger number of species that are not only threatened, but maybe even extinct in the wild already. And that's just because the changes to freshwater habitats happen so quickly. And often these fishes come from such small habitats that they can be destroyed virtually overnight. And that means that there's not enough time to actually assess what the problems are before the real damage sets in and the species becomes wipes, wiped out. Fishnet is a ZSL initiative um, that is basically a whole group of aquariums, zoos, universities, and NGOs that are working together to save freshwater fish from extinction. It's a multidisciplinary approach, so it takes on board not only the captive management of those species that really need it for their survival, but also looks at the field side of things. So we're doing surveys and research into natural habitats and finding the range and the problems of species um, in the wild. We're also looking at researching things like their captive breeding biology, um, disease issues that may affect them, um, and trying to work with our partners to not only save the fish from total extinction, but to try and actually improve their natural habitats so that they don't become extinct. Um, the aquarium at ZSL London Zoo has 15 species of fish that are endangered in some way or another that we're actively managing. We call those program species, where we've got a program of captive management. So our aim is to have at least two colonies of up to 200 breeding individuals of each of those species. Um, some of them are extinct in the wild, which means they do not have a habitat anymore in the wild, and without aquariums and zoos managing them, they would be completely globally extinct. Um, the other ones are critically endangered or endangered, which means they're on the verge of becoming extinct in the wild, and we want to keep these populations um, in order to secure them long term. Um, when you come to the aquarium at London Zoo, you'll be able to see some of these species in exhibits, in mixed exhibits, but you can also have a chance to look behind the scenes through glass windows into our breeding room, and that's where we're keeping the colonies of most of these fish. And you can actually see aquarists going about their daily job of feeding the fish, cleaning the tanks, and also you may get a chance to see them removing eggs from, from the tanks to try and hatch them artificially, or moving the fish around from the different nursery tanks as the young fish grow to adult size.